Hi, this is Kannavabu. This is the part 4 of the food code project. In the last session we discussed about uh, how to create the login form. So in this session we are discussing about. So here whenever user try to login with his username admin as well as password is admin and click on sign in button. Then he will successfully redirect to admin home dot cs. So, and the administrator role is to add the item types items and sales person. So here I will try to create one more form. Go to the project, add windows form. Select the windows form. The name I will give as add item types. Dot cs. Click on add button. So I want to design this form. After designing my form will look like. So after designing the form will look like this. Add item types. So in this, uh, in our project actually, here there are lot of auto generate IDs are there. So here I want to auto generate the item type number, right? So here if you observe clearly in our project, if you observe the database, here, here if you observe item master table, auto generate item type number. Here auto generate item number. Here auto generate employee number. Here auto generate transaction ID. Here auto generate bill ID. Here auto generate bill master ID. There is lot of uh, times we are using the same repeated code. I want to write the code to auto generate the ID. In order to write the code for that, uh, here um, uh, instead of writing the same code every time, I want to write the code in a separate class. So I'll go to the Solution Explorer and within my Solution Explorer I will add a separate class. Right click on the project, add class. The name of the class I'll give as Auto Generate Class. Auto Generate Class.cs. Click on Add button. And uh, within this class, if you observe clearly, the name of the namespace is Food Code. And here also the name of the namespace is food code so that you can access this class anywhere within your project because both are available in the same namespace. And here I want to declare one namespace called using system dot data and uh, using system dot data dot SQL client. And here I want to declare the connection string globally. In uh, ASP.NET, we can declare the connection string in web.config file, but in Windows Forms application, we can declare the connection string in app.config file. That is application configuration file. So, how to declare the connection string globally? Go to the project, there you can see add Windows Forms. There you can find a file called application configuration file. The extension is app.config. Click on add button. Here I want to declare the tag within the configuration tag. I want to declare connection strings. There I want to give the name for the connection string. So there is a property called name. Add name is equals to I'll give the name as constr. Any name you can go. And connection string is equals to I have to mention user space ID is equals to SCI. Password is equals to ABC. Database is equals to food code. And here data space source that is a server name where your SQL database server is installed that is I will give as Kannabab that is my server name. And as you can connect to the SQL server database in two ways one is by using windows form authentication the other one is SQL server authentication. Once when you want to connect to SQL server database using SQL server authentication we need to mention the username and password. I think my server name is Kanna-PC. So I will change the server name here. That is my data space source. Right. So now I want to declare the connection string here using system.configuration. The advantage of declaring the connection string globally is in future when you try to host the uh, project or when you try to install the project in any other desktop also, you no need to change the connection string for multiple times. Where you don't need to change, you have to change only in web.config file. Now here, in order to create the connection, so here I will declare one method, something like public void or I will declare the written type of the method as int 
and the name of the method as auto generate id the name of the method i will declare as auto generate id to make the things faster i will write the code so in order to create the connection here you have to use a in order to use this namespace using system dot configuration you have to add the references so go to solution explorer right click on references add reference and here you can go to dot net tab there you can find a dll called system dot configuration click on ok if you are not adding this dll you cannot consume the namespace and if you want to use the classes or properties that are available in this particular namespace definitely you have to consume the so here I create the connection to the database and I am using the connection oriented architecture and I am opening the connection and pass the query. So here my requirement is I want to auto generate the item type id. So here I am writing the query called select count of star from item master. And if you observe clearly in my database there are no records that are available. Right initially the number of records that are available in item master table is 0. So when you execute the query the result is what? 0. In the uh, we are uh, when you execute the query the result of the query will be stored in where one variable so here sql command class comes of three predefined methods one is execute scalar execute reader execute non query whenever you are performing the dml operations like insert update delete then we will use execute non query and whenever you want to uh, retrieve the data from the table then you will use execute scalar or execute reader and if you want to retrieve the entire table information or single row or single column or multiple rows then we will use mostly execute reader method and if you want to retrieve a return or retrieve a single cell value then you have to use execute scalar method the return type of execute non query is int the return type of execute reader is sql data reader and the return type of execute scalar is object so what are the value that will return it is of object type so again i am converting the object into what integer so the result of the query is zero so uh, i have stored here the result of the query is single cell value so i use execute scalar method and i am uh, incrementing the i so now i is how much one so i want to return the i is it clear now i will go to add item types dot cs and here in the form load I will declare one method. Why I am writing this separate class means in my project there is a requirement to auto generate what item type number, auto generate item number, auto generate employee ID, auto generate transaction. Day. So many times I want to auto generate the code. So instead of writing the same code every time, I will write the code in a separate class. And whenever it is required, I will consume that particular, I will call the method in all the scenarios. So within my add item types.cs, here I will go to the form load and here I will try to uh, declare one method, something like private void. The name of the method I will declare as auto generate, auto generate item type number, auto generate item type number, bracket open, bracket close. So now I want to use this class here. So I want to create an object for the class. What is the name of the class? auto generate class a1 is equals to new auto generate class of class name object name is equal new class name of and here i will call the method a1 dot auto generate id at the time of calling the method i will pass the table name so what is my table name item master right and uh, the return type of this particular method is what int so the result of the method i will store in a variable called int i and here i will declare one variable something like string item type number is equals to i will declare a variable something like t underscore or it underscore I, it means item type underscore and here i want the result of the i is what one here so here what i want to do i want to increment that one so concatenate that one item type number is equals to item type number plus i so item type number is string and i is what int string plus int is string and i want to display that one in text box what is the i i have given the name for the text box txt type number dot text is equals to i will give item type number right and this method i want to call automatically in form load so can we call one method in another method yes we can call 
uh, whenever the form load or uh, add item types underscore load will fetch, then automatically it will call the auto generate item type number. Once execute and check the output so that you will understand. So here I will go to admin home dot cs. I will go to the solution explorer. There you can check it out admin home dot cs. And whenever user clicks on add item types, it has to navigate to add item types dot cs. So double click on add item types and write the code. Create an object for the destination form. That is admin. Uh, here you have to create an object for add item types. A1 is equals to new add item types of. And here you can call the method A1 dot what? Show method. Once press F5 and check the output. So login with the username. Somewhere some problem came. I think I have not closed the bracket. Right. Okay, anyway, let us see here. So here login with admin and uh, admin and click on sign in. So here you can check it out. That uh, add item types. Right. So automatically the load uh, event is fired. Now it is creating an object for auto generate class. And uh, here creating the connection, open the connection, pass the query. And the result of the query is 0. Now increment the i value. Now the result is 1. So here i is 1. And item type number is how much? it underscore. So string plus int is what? String. And display the output in the text box control. And check the output. Right. So here I want to use stored procedure to insert the record. So I will directly create the procedure in my SQL server. I want to create a procedure to insert the re record. My procedure will look like this. So here I want to create a procedure to insert uh, the item type number and item type and click on execute. So command completed successfully. Right. So now here I want to uh, go to add item types dot cs and here I want to write the code. Double click on the button and write the code. To make the things faster I will write the code. Here declare the namespace using system dot data dot SQL client and here using system dot configuration. So here I am using stored procedure. So step number one is create the connection to the database and then open the connection. And then instead of passing the query, here I am passing the procedure name and mention that we are working with stored procedures and I am passing the values to the parameter cm dot parameters dot add with value of at the rate parameter name, comma the value that is available within the text box. And execute non query method will return uh, uh, the written type of execute non query is int. If the record is inserted successfully, it will return 1, else it will return 0. So, if the record is inserted successfully, I want to display a message saying that, for example, pizza is added, or else I want to display a message saying that fail. So, now after inserting the record, again I want to call the auto generate ID auto generate type number method and uh, because and I want to clear the text box too that is txt emp number dot uh, txt type dot text is equals to I want to make empty and uh, apart from that here I want to again in, uh, assign the value it underscore otherwise the output will come it underscore one two will come so here I want to assign that one. Now once when you execute and check the output how it is working. So here I will try to log in with admin and admin click on sign in. And here you can check it out. I will try to click on add item types and uh, yeah one minute. So here whenever user clicks on add item types then automatically load event will fire and it will automatically generate the ID and display in the form and here I will add the item something like pizza I will add click on add button then uh, automatically I am inserting the record in the table and it will display a message saying that pizza is added right and here I have to write something like uh, uh, type dot text similarly I can add the other items like uh, burger and all the things you can add Similarly, I will try to add some other items here. Here you can say I will try to log in with admin. And here also with admin. And here sign in. And here I will try to add the other items also. Okay, in the next video we will discuss about the other concepts. Right, have a nice day.